Hello everybody. For another one for uh, for Mike for uh, 76 Cheyenne and his uh, Dwight D. He's still having trouble with it. Uh, still mucking about with it. But um, he demonstrated the uh, uh, the problem with the you know the uh, the radio and it, one thing jumped out at me and um, that was when he went from CB to PA and vice versa. This on air indicator when he was in CB mode was illuminated. It should not be illuminated. That radio is not transmitting. So why is that lit up? Um, you know, coupled with the volume doing the funky thing, something's gone very wrong with um, with this. So we need to figure out what's wrong with the power supply or the microphone. First troubleshooting step, pull the microphone out. Just pull it out. Does this uh, indicator go out? If this indicator goes out, and we got a problem in his microphone. It's dragging that uh, transmit line down uh, in some peculiar way, and holding the it basically the the transmit and the receiver both being grounded at the same time. So the radio it doesn't it, you, you've got both of them going at the same time basically. And the uh, the issues with of course with doing that is you know numerous, which is what we've got numerous issues. You pull that out and that stays illuminated. We got a problem. So first step, pull the microphone out. Observe the on-air indicator. Does it go out? Does it stay on? If it stays on, well, now we've got to move into uh, figuring out what's going on with the power supply. So anyways, here's the power supply. Assuming the microphone uh, 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 is, uh, is not the problem, because that's one quick way to eliminate it. Pull the mic out. This light goes out. We're good. We need to figure out what's wrong with the microphone. So, assuming the microphone is not the problem, we got to figure out what's going on in the power supply. So, if you pull the microphone out and that indicator does not go out, I want to know whether or not and do this um, uh, do this with the radio um, with no power on the radio. I want you to measure. All these, this transistor right here, TR20, and see if this thing is, see if anywhere on here you're, you're, you're with, with, your, with your ground reference, make sure that this component is not shorted. Um, if you measure, uh, you know, near zero ohms on the base, or near zero ohms on the emitter, or on both, uh, you got a problem. We got a problem in here. If you, you know, measure, uh, you know, some sort of a, you know, infinite resistance or very uh, high resistance in here, then this is an issue. We need to figure out what what else is going on. But that's that's what I would do first. Pull that mic out. Let's see what happens. But um, I think that um, I think that your problem is uh, the fact that the radio is both transmitting and receiving at the same exact time. Um, and you know, who would have thought? I mean, I looked at, I looked right at the radio, and I'm like, okay, why did the, why is the radio say on air on it? It shouldn't say on air on it. It should just be out. It should be, uh, you know, uh, it should be dark. And then you throw it into PA mode, and it goes out. I'm like, uh huh, you know, that's that's a problem. So um, pull the mic out. If this thing stays illuminated, this transistor is shorted or being turned on, or this transistor is shorted or being turned on. Or there's something wrong on this uh, on this on this uh, nine volt power supply. Something's dragging this nine volt power supply down. Um, so I'd go with that first. Pull the mic out. If it doesn't change, check this transistor and this transistor. Just make sure they're not shorted. Um, if you take the take a reading from the emitter with the radio with no power. If you take a, mid, a reading on the emitter in ohms, um, from here. To just the uh, the negative terminal, and you're reading a low low resistance, uh, you know, say lower than um, you know a couple of k ohms uh, at best, then um, we got a problem. So that's what I would do. Um, so, anyways, I hope that helps. Um, you know, give that a whirl. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know, if not, we'll keep at it. But. That's a definite symptom that uh, uh, that I was looking for, is something like that. That's definitely wrong. Um, if it's just this that has failed, well, 
yeah, that's going to kind of suck because that all that's going to do is affect the light. But I kind of doubt that this is the problem. I think that the problem is our 9-volt power supply here. So, anyways, um, give that a whirl. Let me know. Anyway, guys, uh, watch uh, watch his videos so that there's some context to, uh, to this because otherwise it just seems like I'm rambling on about some non-existent issue. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, catch you all later.